and the agency banking. Either ways, what, what do you say? We can support businesses upcoming and blown. <laughs> I sell coffee. Eh, eh, ah, kiki ski. There is nothing more relaxing than a genuine laugh after a very stressful day. And now that happiness is at the snap of our fingers. Aga, your wife is cheating on you! What is what? Stay there and be shouting now. We have to recognize some of these hilarious, downwit, beautiful faces that keep us entertained on a daily. Yes, investor volunteered to pay for my bills. Investor? Yes. Sabinus. Okay. Now my name. Why did they call me investor? Who's the one be investor? I know they like this thing. Sabinus, you be investor. Man. Making me look big where my helper yes, is. Yes, volunteered to pay for the bills. Oh, Abuja guess. No, yeah. oh, okay. Okay, Abuja guess. So. On today's episode of Spice Most. We hang out with some of your amazing faces to discuss the most watched content creators right now in Nigeria. Yo, what's up guys? This is Panky Roy, um, a content creator, skit maker and an entertainer. Guys, this is Spice Most. Hi guys, you already know it's the girl B to the E to the E to the A to Y period. And I'm a content creator and a lifestyle influencer and this is Spice Most. Hi guys, my name is Hawa. I am a content creator, screenwriter, and this is Spice Most. Hi, my name is Sophia Chisom. I'm a content creator, influencer, actor, chef, and this is Spice Most. Yes! Get me I will give blow you spiritually! Ah! You witch! Tell us about your year so far. My year so far. It's been good, like this has been one of my best years, Jiget. So it's been good, lots of projects and you know everything has already been worked out, Jiget. And the year is already ending, so far it has been 100 for me. My year so far has been so challenging in the sense that I want more for myself, I have to work more for myself and I have to constantly think of what to put out there. So aside from that, it has been fun and I'm trying to learn new things. So My year so far has been chaotic and it has been challenging, interesting and very unpredictable. So my year has been overwhelming and um, we've been growing, we've been healing, we've been making money. What project are you currently working on? I'm working on a couple of projects, but you know how it is here, yeah, they're still in fire, as you get. But for now, I'm working on um, Punky Expression. It's a kind of like new dance wave, you get. I'm trying to, you know, penetrate the global market, so we need something that is going to, you know, Ooh. I'm currently working on my brand. It is called Glitz by BG. It's a lip gloss brand and I'm also working on my YouTube content. The project I'm currently working on right now, I'm currently working on a script that I hope is developed into a movie one day. I just produced my short film because I'm looking at doing a social series for TV. But we needed to do like a test run, you know, produce a short film to be sure that people want to even watch a series that has that has to do with Soso. So yeah, we just produced the short film and I can't wait for it to be out and I hope people love it when it's out. What does content creation mean to you? Content creation to me means storytelling. You get telling a story visually. That's, that's simple. Content creation means expressing my creativity and ideas through various mediums. So to me, content creation is letting yourself explore letting yourself do whatever it is you want to do, letting yourself um, fail, um, grow, make mistakes, learn, and enjoying yourself while, while doing the things that you like. Content creation means making yourself happy. I mean, you have to make yourself happy first before you make other people happy. So, making yourself happy, you have to love what you're doing. If you don't love it, well, so when you love what you're doing, you're able to not project the love onto other people to not make them happy. Would you say clout or stereotype facilitates a successful career in content creation. Ah, not, not really. Clout and stereotype don't work. Personally, I do not advise um, a content creator to build their brand off clout because it brings negative vibes and it does not last so nah. It depends on where you are carrying your brand to share. Yes, so there are people that feed and bank and live their life on clout and I mean they're successful in the field. So, yes, for some people, it works for them. Who does that go doubling? You see me for doubling, me. In a sentence, how vast are Nigerian contents being monetized? I don't think that 
with monetization and um, Nigerian content, I don't think we have even scratched the surface. I think that there is more to um, to do when it comes to monetization of Nigerian content. But I think we are getting there. Monetization for Nigerian content, I would say on an 80% that you get because there's been progress since when we started. I would say Nigerian content, like the example is Rema and Selena Gomez Calm Down Song that has crossed billions of streams and it has shown that Afrobeats and Nigeria is entering the global space. How well is the global market consuming Nigerian content? The global market has been consuming Nigerian content on a very high pace compared to like the recent years and stuff like that. This year and last year I think we've been penetrating more globally from views and other ways we've been creating more international content that are relatable worldwide and globally. Like before, nobody would believe that content creation would be this big, but now I'll really say that content create, creating is a full-time job for creatives. So they are making money from it by promoting for music artists and also working for brands, basically. Consumption of Nigerian products in the global market, I think that is getting better. And I think that obviously with our music and our content and um, everything in that space where Nigeria is being put on the map, but I definitely think it can be better. Very well, we are talented individuals, people don't know. I feel like they don't even thank us enough because the things we are doing for, for the world at large, it's us. It's us. They should be paying tight, tight off. Thank you, if not for you now, with the pressure that came in, but you know. But, you know, even from music to comedy to uh, movies, every single thing. We are good. We are found directing us in this world. How has your brand impacted the content creation space? I would say my, my, my brand has impacted positively in the content space because like, I'm one of the pioneers of commercial ads you get. When we first started creating content like that, we thought that, okay, look, it wasn't going to give so much edge into the industry. But these days, I can see like lots of creators, you know, pumping into that wave, and I'm happy that I, I perennied that in the industry. My brand has impacted in so many ways because I try as much as possible to put a smile to people's faces and also bring joy to people watching me. So through the awards, TikTok Influencer of the Year and Lifestyle Influencer of the Year, it has shown me and given me confidence that my brand is impacting people from my vlogs that I make. You guys. Living in Lagos and looking for a house in Lagos is so hard. And for my funny TikTok videos and also learning how to dance, my brand has impacted a lot. I think that um, for my brand, it has. Um, I'm a visual storyteller, and the content. A lot of people think that you can't um, create. Especially, I started as a writer, and a lot of people think that with um, platforms being more visual, you might not be able to shine as much as a writer. But I think that. That's what my brand is all about, telling people that you can write and get your content out there and you'll find your audience. Well, considering that we have, you know, an algorithm of people that are not in the country that consume my content and they love it, right? Yeah, I would say it's a, it's a wonderful one. I mean, I see people that say, oh, I had a rough day at work and then I came, I just came to your page and I feel better, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. Yeah, so obviously I know that they are taking it in world. Give a word of encouragement to an upcoming content creator. Um, I'll advise any content creator out there to be consistent. Your audience will find you if you just stay consistent. Make sure that content creating is something you like doing. Because if it is not something you like doing, you get stuck in between and you get tired in between. So you just have to keep pushing and be consistent because sometimes your views might not be popping. You might post a video and you just get 20 views, but you still have to post because one day your videos might just go viral. Advice plain to you. <laughs> uh, a word of advice to an upcoming content creator, I'd say be real. Have God, be real and you know like express yourself to the realest. Be creative with what you do. That's it. And yeah, last one, consistency, yeah, consistency is hundred. Sabinus. Having a bad day? No need to worry, Sabina's got you covered. Emmanuel Chikwemeka Ejuku, also known as Sabina's and Mr. Funny, is an AMVCA award-winning content creator and actor. He's currently one of the most watched Nigerian content creators in the world. Yeah.
Yes, yeah. he volunteered to pay for the bill. Hey, oh, Abuja guest, no. Oh, yeah. oh, that pay Abuja guest, oh. Can you? Sabi boy. Without even watching the videos, you just start laughing. That's just it. You start laughing. Sabine is a clown, often on camera. If this way they they say I swear, now lie you run no. Ah, he that they lie. Mama, I beg, sorry, 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 I beg. Why PI police the police the police was my area? I beg, man, I go soon they go now. Thank no, you, man. Thank God yet. Because now you carry me put inside this trouble. No, not be me. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, I'm getting Yo, hi guys, Panky Roy is still here. I had an amazing time with Spice Most. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. It is Panky Roy on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on TikTok, and on Thread. Yeah. And then there's a new WhatsApp channel, Panky Roy as well. Love, Mark Bamiyo. Hi guys, it's your girl B to the E to the E to the A to Y period. I'm a content creator and a lifestyle influencer and it has been an amazing time on Spice Most. Stay locked and keep watching. Hi guys, my name is Hawalawa, a content creator, screenwriter, and it has been an amazing time on Spice Most. Stay safe and goodbye. Hi, my name is Sophia Chiso. You probably know me as So So, and some of you know me as Pure Other Girl, some of you know me as the Girl Raise the Biscuit. I don't know anyone, pick anyone that works for you. I'm a content creator, influencer, actor, chef, and you can follow me on Instagram at Real Sophie, Twitter Real Sophie, TikTok Real Sophie, YouTube Real Sophie. Snapchat real underscore Sophie and please I just launched my food business patronize me we cook really nice food so so delicious one on all social media platform and once again this is spice most We've come to an end of today's episode on Spice Most. Keep the ball rolling with us on social media. Our Instagram is SpiceTV underscore Africa and our Twitter is at SpiceTV Africa. You can also keep it locked on our 24-7 website www.myspice.tv Until next time, save the drama for mama.